Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a routing and installing a custom recovery on Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Without further ado, let's begin the process. Alright, so before diving into the uh, process, so make sure this guide is only for the SMG 920i and 925i. Do not try to attempt on any other device. So make sure you're running an Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So anyway, so these are the uh, files that are required to download. So all the links in the description. And uh, first what you're going to do is uh, select the Arthur kernel, so which is the main file and select the uh, super su so select the files and right click on the those two files they are zip files and copy it to your galaxy s6 now as you can see these are the two files it's been successfully copied to your device and go ahead and close all the things so now uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we need to uh, we don't we no longer need these two files and delete those two files and right click on the voting and extract here using the WinRAW. Now you can see the voting is also extracted and delete the zip file. So these are the uh, file that we are going to flash, which is the main recovery file on to offer your Galaxy S6. So switching back to the uh, device or camera view. So on your Galaxy S6, go ahead, go to the settings and the about device and make sure the device is SMG920i and as I said, the device must be running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So if you haven't yet received the update, go ahead and anywhere I can see a link on the screen and flash it manually. So go ahead, turn off your device after that. So once the device is turned off, so now we need to put the device into the download mode. So to, do, to put the download mode, so what we're going to do is uh, hold the power volume down and the home button at the same time until you see this screen. So then press volume up to continue into the uh, download mode. When you press volume up now you can see this download symbol. So then go ahead and take your USB cable and connect back to the phone. Once the device is connected, so uh, right click on the Odin and run it as administrator. So make sure you have installed the uh, Samsung drivers on your computer. So all the link in the description. So when you open the Odin, now we can see this small little box is highlighted in a blue color. So that means the device in the computer has been successfully connected. Then click on the AP and navigate for the Arthur recovery which ends with .md file and open it. So when you click on open now you can see the binary size of 28 megabytes and behind that you can see the option called options then click on the options then you can see the auto reboot is checked so make sure the auto reboot is unchecked so then go ahead click on the start so when you click on the start so this will going to be flash the file to your phone so this is just like a five seconds now you can see uh, the down and on the download mode so the progress bar is stuck it's not a rebooted so what we're gonna do is we need to turn off the device to turn off the device we need to hold the power volume down and the home button at the same time until you see the uh, black screen so when you see the black screen immediately uh, leave the volume down button and press volume up to continue into the uh, recovery so at the top you can see a uh, some message called uh, recovery is not enforcing so don't worry it's just a normal process now we can see the uh, team win recovery a new version which is amazing and it looks very gorgeous so anyway so now we need to flash the kernel as well as the uh, super su so what we're gonna do is uh, click on the select storage and select your internal storage so then go ahead and look for the files that we copied earlier so these are the two files that we copied earlier so one is a kernel file another one is a super su so flash a uh, one by one so first i'm going to select the a kernel file and in the swipe you can form flash Now you can see the kernel has been successfully flashed. Go ahead, click on the back button, then select the uh, Super SU and swipe to confirm flash. Now we can see we have successfully flashed both files and click on the reboot now. 
So when you click on reboot now, so you will gonna see uh, the boot logo. So on the device, we're gonna be a boot as a uh, boot normal. So and uh, yeah, if you stuck anywhere, so go ahead and force your phone into a recovery mode by holding the power volume up and home button. No, all right. Now we have completed successfully a booting up device. So I'm gonna go to the applications. I'm gonna show you the Super SU. So the Super SU has been successfully installed. So let me go ahead and open the third party app, which is the root status. When I click on the root status, I can click on the grant. Now we can see it message shows a device is rooted. So that's how we can uh, root the Samsung Galaxy S6 920i and 925i. So thank you for watching this video. So if you really like this video, please hit the thumbs up button down there and subscribe for more content like this. Until then, bye-bye.